because of a hip flexor suffered last week is back in the lineup. Jaden Taylor will not start rolled his ankle last night. They are hoping that he can play. He did go through warm up something to keep an eye on. DJ e. Burns guarding Armando Baycott. Baycott needs to go right at him. Put him in the position where he has to guard. Casey Morsell on RJ Davis. Kevin Keats wants to put some size on Davis. And Morsell is that, considerably bigger than Davis. Godot into the paint, forces it up. No. And Mohamed Diara, who's been a rebounding machine in this tournament, comes down with the first one for State. Michael O'Connell, four of his five highest scoring games of the season have come in the last four days. Here's the double on Burns. They put the double on and took it off quickly just to stop the back down. Turnaround by Horn will drop through. But DJ Horn has to be a little happier to be playing in an up-tempo game. So difficult to go against Virginia where he had eight points, but he was 0 of 5 from three. Wolfpack were down five just over a minute to go. Virginia going to the free throw line. It looked like State was done. And then everything that could have gone wrong for Virginia did. The huge shot by O'Connell, and they just took care of business in the overtime, and that's why they are still here. Harrison Ingram with that tap out on the offensive rebound. I thought Elliot Cadeau had a chance to get it, but he didn't. Morsell fouled by Davis. So again, the status of Jaden Taylor unknown at this time. The left angle, he's got it taped up. He did go through warm-ups, but now he's sitting, got it wrapped up even more. This is a guy who averages better than 12 points per game. Don't know if he's going to play tonight. And he had 22 points against North Carolina in the last game between these two teams. Both he and DJ Horn were having their way with Carolina in the first half before they got shut down in the second. This is Taylor before the game. Uh, literally a game time decision. And Kevin Keats has not been using that deep of a rotation. And it's their fifth game in as many nights. So obviously they would love to have the services of Taylor. But if they don't, they'll have to go a little bit deeper. Breon Pass, who got a few minutes last night. Cam Woods, who played earlier in the tournament. Ingram unguarded. This is the corner three. And another rebound for the Wolfpack. This time it's Morsell. Casey Morsell had a really good game last night against Virginia. He's an excellent defender, but he needs to be a scorer in this game. At 25 in Tuesday's game against Louisville. We were talking to Kevin Keats earlier today. They've been here so long, played so many games. He was like, is it Friday or is it Saturday? As Burns turns it over. But what a ride NC State has been on. And just for people who may not know around other parts of the country, State's not going to the NCAA tournament unless they win this game tonight. So if they win it, not only do they get the automatic berth, they get the ACC tournament, the banner, the trophy, and the whole thing. Elliot Cadeau has had two very good games against North Carolina State, and his penetration is excellent. Right on cue. He's averaging 13 and a half points against the Wolfpack without having made a three in the two games they played, but he's also averaging close to seven assists in those two games. I'm rounding up. <laughs> You're so generous. O'Connell open. Knocks down a three, and he continues to score at a much higher rate than he did during the regular season. He's a different player in this yeah. tournament. He's gone 16, 16, 12, and 12 in the four games coming into this one. And again, those are four of his five highest scoring games of the entire season. Davis doesn't need much space. This is the three and a more sell the rebound. O'Connell has made more three-point field goals in this tournament than he made the last 17 games combined. Davis got caught on Burns. Baycott over to help. Horn open. And what a start for the pack. That's why you don't want to double at times. I mean, you've got to pick your poison. If you double DJ Burns, he's a really good passer out of that double. Ingram open for a three. Can't hit it. 
And so far, nothing doing on the offensive glass for Carolina. Always a big part of their game. Well, they're taking long shots, and those are longer rebounds. North Carolina needs to get a piece of that paint and go inside and play inside out. That's their game. Which is what State's doing now with Burns. No double here. Big fellas going at it, and Burns wins. And it's State by nine. Remember, NC State got out to a huge lead playing against North Carolina the last time. And then Carolina not locked them down in the second half. Yeah. When DJ Burns gets the ball, he catches it off the lane and he just backs his defender in there. It's one on one in the post, and there's not much, even as good of a defender as Armando Baycott is, there's not much you can do. You're given ground, otherwise, you're going to get run over. First foul on Burns. Kevin Keats in this tournament has gotten some really good minutes, especially last night from Ben Middlebrooks as Baycott steps to the line. Burns getting about 21 minutes per game, Middlebrooks about 19. And I thought, Jay, that Middlebrooks playing so well last night, that's what allowed Burns to rest and maybe be so effective in the overtime. It, 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 Middlebrooks was huge against Virginia. We had 12 points, six rebounds, and three steals in that game against the Cavaliers. And he made some really good defensive plays. He's a really good pick and roll defender. 11 4 Wolfpack. And again, a touch for Burns getting bodied by Baycott. Boy, these are two guys who they don't shy away from the physical part of the game. The kick to Horn, it's short, and Baycott the rebound. Ingram running. Morcell comes up with it, though. A great job by NC State to get back and thwart that break. Diara for three. Yes! And State leads by 10. Boy, you couldn't have drawn it up any better if you're Kevin Keats. Spinning, Baycott lost it. It will stay with Carolina as we go to the Carolina by one in the final. And look at the remarkable similarities, Jay, between the regular season in 87 and the regular season this year for the Pack. It's incredible. I mean, the numbers are almost identical. In 1987, the ACC was an eight-team league, so it was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday event. Baycott going to work on Middlebrooks, who's coming to replace Burns. Middlebrooks was really physical there, but at least Carolina got the ball inside the first time they've gotten a piece of the paint through Baycott. Horn defended by Cormac Ryan. The Aras hit a three in the early going. Now the kick to O'Connell. The floater off the rim and still loose and out of bounds to the Wolfpack. Mohamed Diara in fighting Armando Baycott. Really good shot fake by Michael O'Connell to open up that drive. And now Baycott is going to sit. Jalen Washington has checked in. Well, Carolina has more depth and they're going to use it. They want to send fresh bodies at NC State and wear down a team that they might think is already worn down a little bit, but they're not showing any signs of it right now. Third game in as many days for the Heels, fifth game in as many days for the Wolfpack. Horn got Trimble in the air and then got blocked from behind by Withers. Davis the kick. Withers the drive. Off balance, it'll go. Well, Withers have made, has made a great contribution of late coming off the bench. Last three games, he's averaging over six and a half rebounds. DJ Horn is hot in the early going. He averages 16 and a half. He's got seven already tonight. Well, anybody thought that NC State was going to slow the tempo down. They're not. They're trying to get down the floor and get something early. Morcell went flying. And then R.J. Davis knocks down the jumper. Went right into his chest and a step back move to the right corner. R.J. Davis is actually better from three than he is from two against NC State this year. Davis reached the 2,000 career point mark last night as he continues to climb up the Carolina charts. Middlebrooks. The reverse can't get it to go, but Washington couldn't squeeze it, but it belongs to Carolina anyways. Davis again. O'Connell ahead to Diara.
And Hubert Davis is all over one of the officials. Maybe they're hanging on the rim there by Middlebrooks, but Odiar, but you can hang on the rim if there's somebody underneath you, if it's a safety thing, and they play on. Well, Lee Cassell was trying to warn DR, hey, don't hang on it that long afterwards, but I like the fact they didn't call it technical. Washington banks one home. And that gets Carolina back within seven. The more North Carolina gets the ball inside, the better it is for the target. Horn off the screen. Floater. Oh boy. DJ Horn off to a great, great start tonight already with nine. His movement has been excellent. He was handcuffed in the game last night against Virginia. Not so, so far. Now he reaches in and commits the foul. And now we understand it was not Diara hanging on the rim. It was Kevin Keats being on the court that Hubert Davis was upset about. And then Hubert went on the court and say he was upset about <laughs> Kevin Keats being on the court. If you go on the court, I'm not moving. You do whatever you want. Well, some coaches do get a little too far out there and start playing <laughs> defense. Withers passed up the three. To go in, so R.J. Davis has gone to the bench for the first time, and an immediate Carolina turnover. Really good job by both D.J. Horn, and Jaden Taylor there, of playing off of both Cadeau and Trimble. You know, they're not playing him for the shot; they're playing him for the drive. So they were there to help. They took away the drive and recovered late, and that's what helped cause that turnover from Trimble. So let's see what Jaden Taylor can do. He has checked in with the bad left ankle and the big fellas back too. DJ Burns Jr. Then Middlebrooks back to the bench. Eight minutes in and the underdog with a nine point lead. Good fade. And the battle resumes between Burns and Baycott. Soft touch but it rolls off the rim. Good defense by Baycott. Good not to have his arms there so that could Bur Burns could go through them and try to draw that foul. Just put him straight up. So Cadeau and Trimble, the two guards, neither one of them really an outside shooter. Ryan's not in the game. Davis is not in the game. A different looking offensive lineup for the Heels. Cadeau. Burns wraps it up. North Carolina needs to start putting DJ Burns in some ball screens. Get him away from the basket. Get him moving. Morcel frees himself. Pretty good look. Rebound down to Withers. Boy, Trimble's been good in this tournament for the Heels, especially two nights ago against Florida State. And great defensively. Baycott with the jumper, his first field goal of the game. When he steps away, that puts D.J. Burns in a bad spot. If he goes out there, Baycock can drive around him. Burns comes out to get a touch. He can hit it, and he does. Not just the post guy, got a soft touch in the mid-range, too. Well, Casey Morcell just came up, almost set a ball screen on it. And that freed him up for that little short jumper. Ingram draws the double. Ingram gets it back and hits the three. Well, how about that passing? Around the horn twice to get it back to where the ball started. Yeah. And for a wide open jumper. He's really the only three point threat on the floor. Withers can, but hasn't taken him any this year. They got RJ Davis ready to check in at the next whistle. Diara. Offensive foul. It's going to be that kind of a night here in Washington. The heels in the pack for an ACC title. He scored 41 points against Iowa State today. 69-41 Cyclones who win the Big 12 Tournament Championship. Yeah, the only team that played well enough to win in their game was Purdue. They lost that one in overtime and had multiple chances to win that one. Everybody else got run. Tennessee got run. Duke got run in this event by NC State. So here Carolina, the one seed. 
They had a magnificent game against Florida State in the quarters, beat them by 25, and then beat a very game and determined group of Pitt Panthers, 72 65 in the semis. The one thing that North Carolina has to deal with in this game, DJ Horn is having fun out there. I mean, he's got a smile on his face. He's the one guy who didn't play on Tuesday because of the hip flexor. They sat him out. They were playing Louisville. They were able to win without him. So for him, just his fourth and fourth and four days, Jaden Taylor, bad ankle and all. A great cut from the weak side slot, and Burns found him. What a great pass by DJ Burns. So worried about him backing you down. You don't have your hands up. You just threw it right over Armando Baker. Jay, how about four assists? And we know he's a great passer. How about four assists already for Burns? But he couldn't keep up with Davis there. Davis has extraordinary speed with the ball, not only in transition, but in the half court. He changes speeds incredibly well. Ryan trying to deny Horn. Now he's going to keep him to one side. And the foul on Ryan. First on Ryan, just the second on the team, only three on NC State. O'Connell returns as Breon Pass, who got a couple of minutes, sits down. And this first half looking a little bit like the first half at North Carolina between these two teams where DJ Horn got off to such a quick start. That one rattles out. He's already got 11 in this one. Davis again being defended by Morsell. That's the matchup Coach Keats wants. Ryan no, O'Connell the rebound. And again, you're not seeing any crashing on the glass by the heels. In the first game between these two, they dominated on the offensive glass. Davis steps back and hits it. How good is that? Boy, great help by NC State Michael O'Connell, but R.J. Davis just made a spectacular individual play. The Wolfpack have led by as many as 10. It's down to three. Morcell with a tough one on the baseline. And when Casey Morcell plays aggressively, NC State's a different team. Cadeau and Nguyen. This is what North Carolina wants to do. Get the ball down court quickly and attack in transition. Make NC State run. Horn turns the corner. Good help by Armando Bacot. How's it going in? To Burns. Instead, it'll be a baseline drive by Horn, left it short. Davis, another three, hits again. And Carolina's come back to tie. More blue than red in the house here tonight, and they're getting noisy. It's out of bounds. Good effort by Cadeau, but it is still state ball as we go to a timeout. North Carolina showing some life and injecting that life is R.J. Davis. Great help by Michael O'Connell, but the great step back and three. Another step back in transition goes into the body of a... That's a bit stealer situation right there. This is a bit stealer situation right here. If NC State can win this, but Carolina has come back, Jay, from a 10-point deficit, and you're looking at the biggest reason why. R.J. Davis has just exploded. He's got 11 points. He's three of five from three, and those last two he hit were big ones. Morcell well defended by Ryan. O'Connell misses the three. They got the rebound. And now Carolina looking for its first lead of the game. O'Connell just got a little pin in screen from DJ Burns. He was wide open for that three. They got coming out to sit a ball screen, it looks like. Now goes to the bucket, and Morcell reaches in and fouls him. That's why you want to put D.J. Burns in the ball screens. Morcell's got to come over and pick up that role, and he picked it up, reaching instead of putting his body in the way as the tag guy and just bumping Armando Baycott to stop his progress. 
But DJ Burns has to stay with the ball. So Casey Morcel comes over from the weak side. There were two on the weak side for North Carolina. Ingram guarded by Diara. Good matchup here. Off the foot of Ingram. He dives to the floor to keep it and gets tied up by Mar Morcel. And the possession arrow will give that over to the Wolfpack. Taylor, who is just in for a little bit again, he'll sit and DJ Horn back in now for state. But just the fact that he can gut it out, he gutted it out last night against Virginia after he injured that ankle. But NC State personified by Taylor giving everything they have in this tournament. Connell trying to get something started finds Horn. The shot clock's inside 10. Crowd around DJ Burns. Now he'll take the 16 footer short. DR with a tip. Davis runs it down for the heel. A touch for Baycott. Little shovel pass. Davis. Not this time. Tip back out though. Picked out by Cadeau. Davis driving on Diara and will head to the free throw line. So good at getting past the defender, Diara. He had an advantage there. But put the brakes on just a little bit, so Diara had to go over his back to try to get that block shot and picked up the foul. 89% on the season from the line. We've been kind of updating you uh, here and there as he continues to climb up the scoring charts. Started the year at 48, started the tournament at 10 on Carolina's all time list. Came into this game eight. And Jay, tonight he's passed the great Charlie Scott and has moved into seventh on Carolina's all time score. RJ Davis has just had an incredible career, capped off by this year, where he's not only led the ACC in scoring. I think his leadership for this Carolina team has been exemplary on and off the floor. Carolina on top for the first time tonight. Taylor's coming right back in. And Taylor was terrific in the last game against North Carolina. He had 22 points in that game. He and Horn combined for 42. Seven oh run Tar Heels. And four guards around DJ Burns right now for state. Boy, Burns looked like he lost it and almost kind of volleyball tapped it up into the bucket. His footwork is fantastic. It doesn't look like a guy that size should be able to move like he moves. Six points for Burns, tied at 30. But North Carolina has gone away from the double team. They're going to go one on one in the post. That's just a two. But if he's picking you apart for multiple threes, that's where the problem comes in. Davis, another step back three. Not this time. Burns the rebound. Under four to go in the first half. Horn, another floater and another basket. It's really up to Armando Baycott to step up there. He kept retreating toward the basket. Baycott walks into a jumper and ties the game. He's got six. Smart shot by Armando Baycott. Coming down is the trailer. DJ Burns right in the middle of the lane. He wasn't going to get out there. He might as well take it because he can make that shot as he just proved. A good defense to stop that drive by R.J. Davis. Burns into the paint. Baycott shuts him down. Tremble helpful as he was coming by to reach in. Shot clock running down. Taylor slips. Burns for three. Oh boy! His first three pointer of the season. Is there anything he can't do out there? <laughs> and he had to take it, and he knew he had to take it, but he hit it. Burns started his career out at Tennessee and then transferred to Winthrop, where he played for Pat Kelsey. Who's now the head coach of Charleston headed back to the NCAA tournament for the second consecutive year. Trimble the runner short the follow no but a foul. How quick was Trimble to that second jump. 
DJ Burns showing all of his skills, Jay, here tonight. The body of an offensive lineman, maybe two, and the footwork of a ballerina goes to that left hand inside, and then with the shot clock going down, he knocks down his first three of the year. Has 13 points in this first half. He's six of 10 from the field. His counterpart, R.J. Davis, 13 points. He's three of six from three. But North Carolina State is shooting 58% in this first half. And I think Hubert Davis is going to be asking his team at halftime to make things more difficult on D.J. Horn and NC State. One thing, Dan, North Carolina's only got two team fouls. It's not the only indication, but it's an indication that they're not getting as physical on the defensive end as Hubert Davis would like. 35-34 NC State here with two and a half to go in the first. Carolina's led this game for 15 seconds. That's it. State's led by as many as 10. A horn set. Two at the elbows, two in the corners. Good help, but open is Burns. And he's got two more, 11 points and five assists for D.J. Burns tonight. Well, that was over help by Armando Baker. He can't stay on the ball that long. Carolina's scoring quickly in transition. They actually have, it's 12 to two in transition points for North Carolina. You know what else is different about this? Burns has played 15 out of 18 minutes. Usually, he's kind of 10 to 12 and a half, and Middlebrooks is like eight to 10. But Keats has been leaving Burns in there. He's been playing great tonight. Fifth game in as many nights for the Wolfpack as we've got another foul going against State. Well, he didn't complete the play, but smart move by Harrison Ingram to take that ball to the basket to draw that foul. And there's something going on with Armando Baycott slowly and gingerly making his way back onto the court after the third foul on D.J. Horn. That's big. And it looked like Harrison Ingram knew exactly what he was doing, going right at D.J. Horn and putting him in a position to foul or to back off in transition. Harrison Ingram, two shots. Whatever it is, Baycott trying to walk it off. Harrison Ingram, the transfer from Stanford, who's had such a great year for Carolina. Horn will sit. And Ernest Ross is into the game for the first time. As again, due to foul trouble and trying to monitor Taylor's minutes, Kevin Peets' rotation, Jay, a little bit different here tonight. Well, different players are going to have to come in off the bench and provide quality minutes. This is Ross's first appearance in the tournament. Has not played in any of the previous four games. North Carolina going to go with some full court pressure. Try to ratchet things up on NC State. Trimble on O'Connell. Trimble is a great defender. Taylor with Davis on him. Now Burns with Baycott on him. Going to work again. And the foul called on Baycott. His first. It's a hard foul to get called on you kind of going what do you want me to do here you know the offense is dislodging the defense and and the clear out here comes the double good recovery by North Carolina Taylor tough shot rebound withers Carolina looking for the lead and for the most part Carolina has limited NC State to one shot Neither team's done much of anything in the offensive class. State's got one. Carolina's got two. Trimble open. Missed the three, and Morcell holding his ground well to get the rebound. NC State could have gone for a two for one there, but they just don't want to rush anything right now with DJ Horn on the bench for those three fouls. And again, it's Burns. And again, the double. Good pass. And another assist for Burns. The bucket for Ross. And State backs off, is back on top. Ross just made a cut from the left side of the floor to the right and made himself available to an excellent passer, DJ Burns.
the buzzer beater, that moment when time stands still, our collective breath held as the ball hovers above the rim. But almost a third of those shots were set up by a passer who made the smart choice. Throwing an assist takes trust, IQ, and total confidence in your decision. And the greatest one? My pass to Leitner in 92 wasn't too bad. Continental, the smart choice in tires. Coming up later tonight at 11.30 Eastern time, to be specific, the nothing but net crew will have a complete breakdown of tonight's championship action. That comes to a post game as a champion will be crowned here tonight inside Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. Will it be R.J. Davis and the Tar Heels? Will it be Michael O'Connell and the Wolfpack? How about Ernest Ross playing for the first time in the tournament? That basket that he just scored, Jay, that's his second field goal of the season. He had only played 46 minutes all year coming into this game tonight. Well, it came at the right time. He made a really good cut to make himself available to Burns. Carolina, if they get a score here, can tie or take the lead. But the second half for North Carolina, I think Hubert Davis wants to see a different defensive team than he saw in the first. To go to Davis. Davis to Ryan. Gets it off and hit it. Poor Mac Ryan bangs home a three at the end of the first half, sending Carolina into the locker room with a one point lead. How about the shot fake by Cormac Ryan? When playing defense. They've been to the line just one time, so we need to make them feel us and get the physicality up. All right, just thank you. Yeah, amazing uh, that State's only been to the line one for two, just two free throw attempts, and amazing how few offensive rebounds there have been in this game as well at either end. Cadeau, no. And Baycott just got called for a foul. That'll be number two on Armando Baycott. Well, Cadeau had that right hand drive, kept it in one hand, tried to loft it up the top of the backboard above the square, just couldn't get it to go. How about Burns playing over 16 minutes in the first half? Baycock playing over 17. And they're going at it again. Boy, is he skilled. Yeah, he's big. But don't let that take away from the fact that he is extremely skilled as well. But North Carolina deciding to guard him one on one in the post because those are tough twos. They don't want him passing out for open threes. Oh, a steal by Baycock. Ingram a corner three. Oh, and what a mistake there by State. An unforced error, a turnover that just hands three points to Carolina. Horn, well defended by Cadeau, goes at him again and draws the foul. Good job on that second effort. Now watch this steal by Armando Baycott. Diara just a lazy pass trying to get it to Michael O'Connell. And Baycott takes it away. It leads to a wide open three. And DJ Burns isn't going to be able to cover that distance to put any pressure on Harrison Ingram. And Burns going one on one in the post. He's got a fabulous touch. But I think Hubert Davis is willing to take that tough two wear him out a little bit rather than have him passing it around getting open threes. Horn at the line for State late free throws on Thursday to seal the win over Duke and kind of lock down the victory in overtime against Virginia last night by making all four free throws that he had better than 18 points per game in conference play this year fourth in the league. D.J. Horn guarding Cormac Ryan right now. I think North Carolina needs to go at him wherever they can. Make him guard. Playing with three. Cadeau driving again. Can't hit it again. DR with the rebound. And he went right into the body of Horn. Just couldn't draw the foul or complete the play. But the action was good and was smart. They got pushing Burns out almost to the three point line. He gets where he wants to get and he banks it home. What are you going to do? All for assistance. <laughs> <laughs> Big 
They caught at the other end is fouled by Burns and that will be number two on him. And that's how you attack DJ Burns. You know one of the ways that you kind of defend against him is you make him guard on the other end. Put him in ball screen actions. Make him guard in the post. Put him in a position to foul. But Armando Baycott is a big strong guy using his leverage but Mohamed Diarra just steps in there actually sets a little screen to pick him off and make it a little bit easier for D.J. Burns to get to that left hand. Baycott misses the first he's shooting a career best 78 percent from the line this year. Burns outscoring Baycott 15 to 8. Baycott out rebounding Burns. Look at the assist total. That's that's part of it as well. Some of those are probably for three. So between scoring and assist, at minimum, Burns has been involved in 27 points in this game. Well, he's touched the ball just about every time down. And rightfully so. He's making things happen. I wonder what he's going to do here, Dan. <laughs> Good pass. The kick to O'Connell. Contested baseline jumper, rebound Ingram. Nice recovery by RJ Davis to take away that three. And they don't stop Davis in transition. He got a clean look. Doesn't miss many of those, does he? Here they go again. And he hits again. State by three as Burns is kind of having his way right now with Baycott down on the block. Just extraordinary that touch with that size. Now, this is what he did to Duke. He wound up with 27 points, but Duke played him one on one in the post to shut everybody else down. Burns goes down, they play on, and Baycott banks it home. Boy, these are two really good, really big, really physical guys battling in this game. Now the mop guy is down at the other end. That's a pretty wide <laughs> swap he's having to deal with down there. Horn draws the foul. Well, DJ Burns, this is a back down. The likes of which you don't see very often. You know, he reminds me of Josh Smith played at UCLA and then transferred to Georgetown. Same kind of player. And there's a little flop right there that led to the easy basket for Armando Baycott. Each guy's played big minutes. Each guy's got two fouls. And DJ Horn getting ready to go to the free throw line for two. He's tying his shoes. I think he's just buying a little bit of time to get some rest. Smart. Games in five days is right. extraordinary. Uh, I don't, it's, you can't understate or overstate, excuse me, you can't overstate the difficulty of this for NC State, and yet they are giving maximum effort. It's really impressive to watch. And again, the only other school that has ever won five in five days to win a conference championship, the Kemba Walker led UConn Huskies back in 2011. Even a little thing like Carolina played at 7 o'clock last night. State played at 9.30. Plus it's their fifth game in fifth five days. Davis trying to get free. Morcel trying to stay with him. And doing a really good job. Look at this defense. Against one of the best offensive players in the country. And then a rejection. Horn. And a foul, but how about Casey Morsell's defense on R.J. Davis? Casey Morsell is the best on-ball defender on this NC State roster, and you saw why there. He started his career at Virginia, but staying in front of someone as quick as R.J. Davis, he made it look easy. It is not, and it was a multiple effort defensive exchange. That finished up with a block shot that started transition that ultimately got DJ Horn to the free throw line. What a great sequence for Casey Morsell. Fifth year senior, two years at Virginia, three in Raleigh. Horn the miss and a couple of subs now for Carolina. Ryan sits with three, and this little chess match between Hubert Davis and Kevin Keats continues. Burns went out, now Baycott goes out. Get him some rest in advance of the under 16 timeout as well.
State by four. Harrison Ingram needs to get more involved on the offensive end, be more of a threat for North Carolina. Davis running around a couple of screens. Got free for a moment. Morcell recovers beautifully. And good help by Ben Middlebrooks. And that is a block called on O'Connell. You can see where he's looking. He wants to see a replay. Which take? Well, he's a primary defender there, and those are the charge calls that shouldn't have changed from last year, but seemingly they have. But the, the change in the charge block rule on secondary defenders not only was good, it was great. Ingram to the free throw line. Diara forced him into a tough shot and comes down with a rebound. Kind of one of the unsung heroes of this tournament for NC State is Mohamed Diara. Diara has been spectacular on the glass. Had a 16 rebound performance. Had a 14 and a 12, and he's got seven tonight. Morcel the turnaround. And it's back to a six point advantage for the 10 seed. Where is this energy coming from for NC State? Davis steps in and buries it. Well, you take a gamble, which Casey Morsell did, to shoot the gap, try to get a steal. And R.J. Davis burns it, but it was a two. He had to step inside the three-point line to get that shot. Casey Morsell, by the way, Jay, is the only player who has not come out of the game. Contact as he kind of swung his arms through. Looked like maybe an elbow got R.J. Davis, but they play on. Just a rip through. Washington tries to save it and does. Cadeau will try a three. State will give him that. The bodies are flying yeah. in this game. Taylor went flying. Diara took a shot to the head. He's grimacing as O'Connell walks it into the front court. R.J. Davis still guarding Casey Morcell. Morcell is bigger, a little bit stronger. Middlebrooks, not an outside shooter. Now Taylor. O'Connell to step in. Draws the foul. All made by the shot fake that got Cadeau off balance and opened up the middle. How about the impact Casey Morcell is having on this game? And it's been on both ends of the floor. A little turnaround jumper, and that is not an easy shot. That's over the left shoulder. If State wins, they're in the NCAA tournament, obviously. They win this championship for the first time since 1987. They would become the first double-digit seed to win an ACC tournament championship and just the second program ever to win five games in five days to win a conference tournament. It is remarkable what they have done since Tuesday. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Boy, Sidney Lowe and Derek Wittenberg. That was a pretty good high school back car. What yeah. they play for the great Morgan Wooten at the Mapa. One of two and a five-point lead for the Wolfpack. Carolina needs to get the ball inside more often. They do right there. Cadeau with a 50 feet into Baycott. Just a little side pick and roll. Two on the ball, and Baycott was wide open. But Carolina shot a lot of threes in this game. And some guys that have been taking them are not the shooters you would expect. R.J. Davis on the bench right now for the Tar Heels. D.J. Horn and D.J. Burns both on the bench for the Wolfpack. Baycott down with a rebound. That's his eighth. Really good defense there by Seth Trimble. He is one heck of a defender. Switch out on just about anybody. Cadeau, nice look. Trimble passes up the three and lost it. Diara finds it. O'Connell takes it. Whoa. First Cadeau went flying, then Middlebrooks went flying. I think the call is going against the Wolfpack. We'll wait for the signal from Bill Covington. Mohamed Diara of NC State, the foul, his third. Returning for the Wolfpack, 
Meanwhile, look who's back. So far, Burns tonight, 8 of 10 from the field, 17 points and 6 assists. Trying to put DJ Burns in some ball screen situations. Rideau goes the other way, finds Trimble. Misses the three, Baycott the rebound. Trying to go back up with it, he lost it. And we've got a held ball, the possession arrow will give it back to the pack. Really good defense by NC State to converge on the ball all around Armando Baycott to knock it away. And Seth Trimble, that shot from the right corner, that's not the shot that North Carolina wants. It was a pressured three from a guy who can make open ones, but he's only made 10 threes on the season. R.J. Davis returns. You saw Middlebrooks come in for State, but it's not for Burns. Diara's got three, so for the first time tonight, we see Middlebrooks and Burns on the floor together. And guess who gets a touch? A foul on Baycott, his third. You just can't bring your arm down there. It's hard to keep yourself from doing it, but you just have to stay straight up when he goes up with it and try to bother him. But once that right arm comes down, automatic foul. And that's already 16 fouls on Carolina here in the second half as Burns goes to the line. First time tonight, 68% on the season. And the problem Carolina has is Baycott's really the only matchup they have for D.J. Burns. We're not going to put Jalen Washington on him. There's just a strength difference. I mean, you might be able to put Jalen Withers on him, and he might be able to try by getting low with leverage. But Baycott is the natural matchup for D.J. Burns. And if it's anybody other than Baycott, it's almost an automatic double, right? You have to. Well, if you double, then you put yourself in a position. Middlebrook's pushed off with Jalen Withers, but you put yourself in the position of, of him hurting you as a pass. Yep, yep. And it's a pick your poison. Exactly. It, it sounds like it's such an easy decision. Of course, go double him. But you go double D.J. Burns. He's such a good passer that he can find a guy like D.J. Horn or you know, Jaden Taylor, somebody, Michael O'Connell, and all of a sudden, NC State's getting open threes. You're trading two for three. Horn on the floor with three. Baycott on the floor with three. And a whistle away from the ball, and a foul on the Wolf Pack. And Bill Covington is bringing D.J. Horn and Cormac Ryan together. Is this on Horn? It should be. I mean, he, he sort of grabbed. He grabbed Cormac Ryan as he's trying to come off a screen that was being set by R.J. Davis along the baseline. I mean, that's a foul. And it is on Horn, and it's his fourth. And that is a major loss for the Wolfpack. No question about the call. So they will be without their leading score for a while. DR returns, Middlebrook sits as well. I wonder what the officials wanted to talk to those two guys about. Did you tell Cormac Ryan, don't cut? Ryan just went down, he's hurt. And Michael O'Connell was the closest defender looking around saying, I didn't, I didn't do anything here, looking up at the scoreboard, but Ryan's still shaking up. And May have hit his head on the court. We will have to get a look at a replay. He was the inbounder and then came in to be able to go off one screen or another. He's being guarded by O'Connell. Like whatever look like it was was before he hit the court. Yeah, it didn't look like there was any sort of ankle issue. They will take the media timeout now as Ryan continues to get medical attention. We'll be back. Block. Watch Ryan trying to get around O'Connell and just runs into his shoulder. And that's where, you, as you can see, the injury happened. No foul on the play. Ryan on the bench. 
looks much better than he did just a few minutes ago. Hopefully he's okay and back to the action. Yeah, that's called floppy action. He could choose which side to come off of, off of baseline screens. And O'Connell was trying to send him out to the right. But Ryan wanted to go to the left, and that's when he caught his shoulder. Morcell into Burns. And Baycott's got those three fouls. Burns up and in, does it again. He ultimately wants to get to that right shoulder, and you have to bring a gang to stop him from getting there. I mean, Baycott's a member of the conference all defensive team. He's a very big, strong guy and a very good defender, and D.J. Burns is 9 for 11 tonight. But if he's going to back you all the way down there, there's nobody that can do anything about that. And now a turnover. And this is the decision. Do you bring a double to get the ball out of his hands? But when he's such a good passer, he can hurt you that way as well and maybe hurt you more. They confronting him for a moment. They can't get him the ball, so Marcel will drive it, chase it down. Viara over to help. Where are they trapped down in that corner, though? It'll stay with State, 4.9 on the shot clock. And Mohamed Diara saved that possession by making himself available to Morcel. Well, Burns playing the game with a smile on his face, too. He is having the time of his life this week. Morcel for three. Davis the rebound for the Tar Heels. Back from Cadeau. And Davis lays it in. That is Carolina basketball. And how beautiful is that? The give and go. And another creative finish around the basket for R.J. Davis. Wolf pack by four. Everybody in the building knows what's coming. Short this time. Baycott did a great job not letting them get too close to the bucket. Davis draws the foul. He had Baycott to his left, running the floor, and DJ Burns trying to keep up. Now, this is the previous one where RJ Davis gives it up, gets it right back, and goes right around the NC State defense. Just a beautiful finish to avoid the block shot by DR. And now Davis, Carolina's all-time leader in free throw percentage, is at the line for two. <laughs> Middlebrooks in for Burns, and Cormac Ryan has returned for Carolina. And you have to think when North Carolina's in the half court, they want to go into Armando Baycott. One of two for Davis. DJ Horn is coming back here with four fouls. Boy, does he have to be careful. He just has to be smart. I'm guessing they try to keep him as far away from R.J. Davis as they can on the defensive end. O'Connell. Pulls up and hits. Wow. R.J. Davis went underneath that screen by Ben Middlebrooks, and Michael O'Connell made him pay. O'Connell's been a different player in this tournament than he was all year long. Double figures in the first four. Davis, no. Great rebound by Ingram. Ingram for three. Diara runs it down and saves it. For a lot of three-point shots for North Carolina. Baycott never touched it. Past the midway point of the second half, and the underdog, the 10 seed with a five point lead on the top seed in Carolina. Horn short. Out of bounds to the Tar Heels. Now Michael O'Connell. Now watch RJ Davis go underneath. He actually got picked off, but tried to gap that ball screen. 
And Michael O'Connell made him pay with that extra space to knock down that three. He has been fantastic in this ACC tournament. And as you just saw on your screen, Kevin Keats, Jay, he's already starting to play offense defense with DJ Horn. He grabbed them on the way by and said, don't go too far. Sit in that first seat. If we get the ball back, you're going back in. And they got the ball back. Offensive foul on Jalen Washington. And Horns right back into the game. A little too aggressive on that screen. The free up Cormac Ryan just leaned in to Jaden Taylor and got called. Different game with no Baycott and no Burns right now. NC State playing five out. Horn sizing up Ryan. And hits wow. it. What a big shot. And he's got a huge smile on his face. How much fun are these state players having this week? Carolina needs to put him in some action. Go right at DJ Horn. Davis from the corner with the answer. It's a long two for Carolina. And when he needs space, he just creates it for himself with that step back. Great separation. Morcel to give and go. O'Connell has it taken away by Cadeau. That steal saved the layup. Now Davis to slow, slow it down and set something up. Crossover. Floater. Yes. Got the switch. Michael O'Connell came out to get him. He just crossed over and went right by for the little floater. R.J. Davis has taken over Carolina's offensive possessions. But D.J. Horn, offense, defense, substitutions. The offense is working. And then on the other end, the step back, that was a three. Mm. Initially counted as a two. Here's the floater. His horn's got 21, Burns 20. R.J. Davis now 23. They changed the two to a three. Armando Bacon, 13 and nine. So you give Carolina the extra point after the review. It's now a three-point game, 61-58 pack. Carolina bringing full court pressure. Got the initial trap, and now NC State breaks it. And a great bounce pass, but Diara missed the reverse. Got it back and puts it in. Well, it looked like he got fouled as well. But that's 10 rebounds now for Muhammad Diara. Well, he has been a machine just cleaning the glass throughout this entire tournament. Cadeau gets inside, a little bit short. And Burns gathers it in for the Wolfpack. North Carolina's offense has been out of sync in the half court. And to give credit to NC State's defense. Horn again playing with four fouls. 21 points tonight for State. Takes a bump and hits! What a sensational game he is having. Well, they were icing that side action. And DJ Horn just gets all the way to the bucket and finishes. Ciara first goes to the other side of the basket, but gets his own rebound. I thought he got fouled there, but still puts it in. And D.J. Horn just getting between defenders split. As D.J. Horn finishes this play, Casey Morksell looks to me like he's cramping up there. And who could blame him after five games in five days? But he had to leave the floor to go into the hallway. And that looks suspiciously like a cramp. And he is still there. So at the moment, they're without Morsell. Taylor's in the game with a bad ankle. Horn's in the game with four fouls. Yet NC State is up by eight. Can they just find enough bodies to play the last seven minutes at the level they will need to to win this game? He 
needs to take O'Connell down in the post. Harrison Ingram's got O'Connell on him. Give it to him and let him back him down. Taylor on Davis. Now Ingram is doing that. There's the help from Diara. To swat it out of bounds. Carolina ball with five on the shot clock. Boy, what terrific help defense by Muhammad Diara. Right under the basket, comes over, gets vertical, and knocks the ball away with his left hand. Big time. Again, State not only playing for an ACC tournament championship, they need to win this game to get into the NCAA tournament, one would assume. Baycott banks it in to make it a six-point game. And here comes Morcel jogging back to the bench. Well, a good play by Carolina. They got R.J. Davis on the run, and then Armando Baycott could face up and just take D.J. Burns off the dribble. Horn fouled by Ingram. That's already 19 fouls on Carolina, so it's one and one for Horn. And any further fouls will be two. Just ran a little Iverson screen over those two screeners at the elbows. And there was a, an open lane to the basket with a rip through for a left-handed drive. And Ingram just reached in and fouled. So you've seen a lot of state. You had them a couple of weeks ago in a regular season a game. Why are they playing at this level now? They lost their last four coming into the tournament. Why are they playing at such a high level right now? Well, remember who they played. Yes. Remember they had a Saturday at North Carolina, and then they had to turn around and play Duke on a Monday. And then they had Pittsburgh and at Pittsburgh. They had a really difficult schedule in a very short time frame. But they're just in a great rhythm now. And they've got some momentum going, beating Louisville and Syracuse, and then that big upset of Duke. And then Virginia in overtime last night. Another teardrop for R.J. Davis. It's a five-point game. But North Carolina has to make a defensive stand. And you have to think that NC State wants to go inside to D.J. Burns. Let him go against Withers. Folks starting to stand in the building wearing both blue and red. What a pass. Diara gathers, blocked from behind by Baycott. A good recovery by Baycott. Tried to help out on Burns, and Burns made a great pass, but negated. Tipped away and stolen. Taylor. Diara runs it down. This is NC State, you can tell Kevin Keats. Thought his team was losing their poise a little bit. Just wants to calm them down. 523 to go. State. NC State trying to win a title for the first time since 1987. If it's Carolina, it would be the first time since 2016. Really important for NC State to get good shots down the stretch. You take good shots, North Carolina less likely to be able to get out in transition where they're extraordinarily dangerous. And Jay Casey Morcell back on the floor for the Wolfpack. That gives NC State their best individual defender on the perimeter back on the floor. Stagger action to try to get it to Horn. Ingram on. And Horn is saying, oh, Get out of here, DJ. Horn wanted to take Ingram, but instead it's into Burns. He's doubled. There goes the double. There's the open three. And Morcel hits it. And it's state by eight. And that's the reason that doubling is so difficult on DJ Burns. Davis rejected by Diara. And Horn is going to slow it down. Morcel. Not this time. And that was not the shot. Even though he was open. Make North Carolina guard. Baycott one on one with Burns. The spin, the bank, the tip, and Diara's got it again. How many times has Mohamed Diara come up with the ball on the defensive glass? He has made so many big plays in this game, not just on the glass, but blocking shots, has helped defense, looking at the officials, saying, hey, man, I got hit in the head there. Does that not count? Nearing the four-minute mark. Horn is fouled. This is truly remarkable. Fifth game in as many days. The 10 seed. 
dealing with guys who aren't physically 100 percent and they just keep playing. You have to think they're operating on fumes right now fumes and emotion and just straight up want to. But a terrific job by DJ Horn of refusing that ball screen going baseline drawing the foul. And he's a terrific free throw shooter right about 80 percent. Every opportunity that NC State gets to steal a moment you have the massage gun. Wow. Yeah, Lee Casale said, hey, look, I know he needs it. He can't do that. Being told <laughs> it's a groin issue for Casey Morsell. <laughs> and he is coming out right now. And now Middlebrook's getting ready to come in. And again, this feels like with the four under four timeout coming soon, you get D.J. Burns a decent amount of rest here. As much as you can. They're going to need days of rest after this. Made them both. And it's back to a 10 point lead, matching their biggest lead of the night. Does Carolina have an answer? Baycott going to work on Middlebrooks. And a foul. As Baycott will be heading to the line when we come back. He stayed Wolfpack. Had to play on Tuesday as the 10 seed. And they made it all the way to Saturday against the top seed from Chapel Hill. Back and forth they've gone, but the Wolfpack have led most of the night and trying to pull off an incredibly improbable championship here tonight. These two schools, second and third all time in ACC tournament championships. Duke leads with 22, Carolina 18, State 10. But as we've said on a few occasions, none since 1987. They are up 10 with 3.51 to go. Dan, you have to think that if Armando Baycott makes this, Carolina is going to come with full court pressure. They've got to do something to change the rhythm of this game. And they've started to double team DJ Burns. That has not worked out particularly well, but I think they have to bring the pressure full court. Here it comes. Horn to O'Connell. And they get it over. Is he going to back him down from that far out? Good pass into Horn, who lays it in. Assist number seven tonight for Burns. What a fabulous cut by DJ Horn. What an incredible week both of them have had. Burns and Horn. Here's Diara. And it stays with State. And Kevin Peach is probably saying something like, take the time. Just a great cut from the weak side. Just a step and go all the way to the rim. Harrison Ingram couldn't block it. When you're worried about DJ Horn coming off for a handoff and he just cut the other way. Just a beautiful cut and a great read. Carolina came all the way back had the lead briefly here in the second half and now stakes up 11 about a steal by Davis to get it down to nine under three to go and Hubert Davis wants the full court pressure Boy, that's old school the trap by North Carolina shooting the gap as an interceptor it's still in bounds but Carolina's got it now Davis Ingram Ryan for three and who else but the Yara with a rebound NC State dodged one there boy and if you're Kevin Keats you just want to see poise and good decision making right now back to Horn he'll take a three and it's out of bounds as Horn and Cadeau got tangled up and DJ Horn is still down. Seems to be all right. It's Carolina ball with 2.16 to go. <laughs> Stacey 
Taylor sits. Horn is staying in the game. He's been playing a long time with four fouls. Morcell has come back in, and once again, he's on R.J. Davis. Right now, it's about to stand in front, no threes and no fouls. Ingram the step in. Cadeau won't take the three. Davis the pull up. And a battle for the ball between Davis and Morcell, and it's getting heated as the officials get in and try to break it up. It's two guys fighting for the ball. And if it's just a held ball, it will stay with Carolina on the possession arrow. Good job by Lee Cassell and Bird Smith, Bill Covington all getting in there quickly. Now Jay Burns has gone to the bench right now for State. Middlebrooks is in. Two minutes to go. Davis gets a clean look. And it is North Carolina ball, says Bert Smith. And we're under two minutes, so they can check it. DJ Horn has been everywhere. He covered a long distance to go after that ball. The play will be under official review to determine possession. The goal of the floor was possession to North Carolina. No, sir. That's wow. The call is Carolina's when Ingram made that last desperate reach for it. Did he touch it? Doesn't look like he did, but there's there's not enough there to overturn it. Yeah, agreed. I mean, it, it kind of rolled off the hand. And we saw from the other angle that it didn't look like from that angle that Ingram touched it, but I don't see how there's anything there to overturn the call. Doesn't look like it, but I agree with you 100%. Just not enough there to overturn. And again, the initial call is Carolina's. And Bert Smith, and I think this is great. I mean, he took an extra beat, an extra pause before making the signal. Wanted to make sure that he called it the right way because the call on the floor can be obviously huge here. If there's not enough to overturn it, however it's called is however it stays. And it's Carolina ball. Well, in the view, the goal on the floor is confirmed. Possession to North Carolina. So they're down nine. They've got the ball with a minute 51 to go. Ingram to inbound. Green for the screener action, well defended to keep it away from R.J. Davis. Baycott's going to drive it, and he is fouled by Middlebrooks. Number three on him, one and one coming for Baycott. Right now, NC State's got to be thinking about inbounding the ball, being strong with it, and breaking pressure. Because Carolina's coming with it full court. Reminder Sports Center is coming up next here on ESPN. And oh boy, will they be talking about this one no matter how it ends. Two big makes for Baycott. O'Connell turned it over. Davis for three. Got it back. Now Ryan is wide open in the corner. And Diara, another rebound and a foul. 
Boy, Carolina gets the turnover off the bad pass from Michael O'Connell. Got a wide open three from R.J. Davis. Just couldn't knock it down. What a momentum play that would have been. And Jay, I believe they are going to go to the monitor to see if there was anything flagrant on the foul. Yeah, it looked like it was Cadeau on the foul. You can see Cadeau kind of trying to swing. He was trying to tap the ball back out, but he got a big piece of the arrow. Yeah, it would be really. It was a. It was a pretty wild swing. But I, I think that's what he was trying to do: is knock it back out. But it, since there may have been contact around the head, oftentimes that'll result in a, an F1. To see what the officials, their judgment is. Going to stay as a common foul. So it is two free throws for Diara, who has not been to the line tonight. He has 13 rebounds now in this game. He is a 62% free throw shooter on the season. Makes the first, Burns out, Middlebrooks back in. So they want Middlebrooks on defense right now and Burns on offense. Make or miss, North Carolina wants to get the ball down court quickly. Just get a score. It doesn't have to be a three. Two huge makes for the Hamadiyaras. A good help there by Middlebrooks. That forced him further out on the floor. Davis reverses direction. Missed it. O'Connell the rebound and a foul. What a big rebound by Michael O'Connell. And NC State can feel it. Something that has never happened in this league. Five games in five successive days. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. They appeared to be down and out last night against Virginia in the last minute and a half of regulation somehow found a way Miracle Mike found yeah, a way. that's right the guy at the free throw line banked home a three to force overtime as the Hall of Famer Roy Williams looks on here in Washington Two more it's an 11 point lead Ryan got fouled and will shoot three and DJ Horns out of the game. That's his fifth. And can Morcell come back? They're running out of bodies. Well, I know Horn didn't want to foul here. Just got a piece of his arm, just couldn't help himself. And he's going to have to take a seat, but I'll bet you sitting down is going to feel good after, <laughs> after all this play. And it does not look like Casey Morcell is able to play. Breon Pass, a junior from Reedsville, North Carolina, is going to come into the game. What this, I know we've said it a dozen times. What they've done this week has been remarkable. There just aren't enough platitudes. Yeah. So they're without Horn. They're without Morcell. What, what do you think Kevin Keats is saying to DJ Horn right now? Hey, next time we play five games in five days and you have four fouls, don't yeah. reach in at the end. Do me a favor. <laughs> do me a favor, would you? Remind me to talk to you about something tomorrow. <laughs> Three for Ryan. They beat Louisville by nine. They beat Syracuse by 18. Beat Duke 74 69 in the quarterfinals Thursday night. The overtime win over Virginia. And now a minute 11 away. 
up by nine. One more free throw for Cormac Ryan. And right now, it's about inbounding the ball cleanly. Ooh, dangerous pass, and O'Connell gets fouled, and he's going back to the free throw line. Yeah, Brian pass with that dangerous pass, but got away with it. North Carolina foul, charge number 50 by Harrison Ingram. His second personal foul. Two free throws the rest of the way for State. Passes in his third year in the program. It's his 82nd game. He's never started a game. Generally, he plays a handful of minutes here and there. He actually played a lot against Louisville, but part of that was DJ Horn didn't play. So he got 22 minutes against Louisville, but he is in for a big minute and eight right now, to say the least. And they just keep making their free throws. Well, that's how you salt away a, a win and win a championship. It's that close. Ingram for three. Tipped out to Davis. He'll take a three. And Diara with yet another rebound, and he's fouled again. And now everybody wearing red in this arena can really feel it. There are more Carolina fans here than state fans, but it's the folks in red having the best time right now. And they should. What an effort by North Carolina State. And not just tonight, but this entire week. And Dan, you know, assuming they hang on this last 54 seconds. Who do you give MVP to? There's so many deserving candidates. Yeah. One of them's right here at the foul line. The hour has been huge. You could give it to Horn. You could give it to Burns. Ryan has to hoist. Davis the rebound, and he draws the foul. And it's the last thing you want to do there is foul and stop the clock. Carolina in all likelihood, I mean, I, I don't even think I have to say it on all likelihood. They're a one seed, win or lose tonight, right? Don't you think? No question. Yeah. But none of the guys on that bench have ever won an ACC tournament championship. He's won three. Hubert Davis, two as a player, one as an assistant coach. They came in this week really talking about wanting this title. Not wanting a one seed, they wanted this title. But like four other programs this week, they have run into a, a team that is just on an unbelievable roll right now. In the it felt like a, a Destiny's Darlings type of thing. And the shot last night by Michael O'Connell, Miracle Mike. Boy, a turnover here for NC State. Has stepped out of bounds, thought he got bumped out of bounds. He might have, but you got to be strong at this point in the game. You're not going to be given anything. This last minute and a half probably feels like an eternity for Kevin Keats. Well, you don't want to foul there. Pass right. called for the foul. He just jumped right into the body, got tangled up with the arms of R.J. Davis. He wants to take away that three, but you just lock and trail and run him off the three-point line. If he gets a layup, who cares? And Davis, of course, almost automatic at the line. It's just the idea of stopping the clock and extending the game. That's his second miss tonight. Five of seven. Still a nine point game. And a turnover. Diara say to O'Connell, come back, come back to me. Diara couldn't get it to him and he threw it away. Well, even if he doesn't come back to the ball, take the 10 second violation rather than throw it away like that. At least more time comes off the clock that way. Yeah, 
Here's Davis. Now Cadeau. Now Ingram for three. Middlebrook swats it out of bounds and the call is NC State ball, but they're going to have a look at it. With 29.9 seconds to go. It looked like it went off Middlebrooks. That's one of those tricky ones. I mean, Middlebrooks caused it to go out of bounds, but it did graze a finger well, for Akon on the way out. For 38 minutes of the game, that's off Middlebrooks. And that's sort of the difficulty of replay. They say it you know, rolled off his finger, and they have confirmed the call. It'll stay with State. Any guard for North Carolina State that catches the ball should not give it up to a big guy in the backcourt. You know, when Michael O'Connell catches the ball, he can't give it to Mohamed Diarra. Yeah. Keep it. Just stand there and let them foul you, right? That's one thing, but you, know, you don't want to give it to a big guy, and then all of a sudden you got to get open again. Into pass. Back to Taylor. A few more seconds come off the clock, and now Jaden Taylor will head to the line. Indianapolis native transfer from Butler going on a bum wheel well, he's really got it out hasn't he? everybody has but especially Jaden Taylor yeah they've got a guy with a bad ankle they've got a guy with a sore groin they've got a guy who fouled out they've got a guy who hit his first three of the season tonight and they got a guy who scored only his second bucket of the entire season tonight it's just crazy everything that's gone on and yet they are 25 seconds away from a championship. You're rounding down now. It's I'm rounding down. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We've had real rounding issues this week, America. <laughs> Davis can't get it to go. Middlebrooks the rebound. They'll foul him. And now I think they can finally relax. It's been 37 years since this program won the ACC Tournament Championship. And they knew coming into this week that they had to win this type tournament to go to the NCAA Tournament. There would be no at large. And Kevin Keats obviously feels a little more relaxed. Here come the walk-ons, including his son. KJ Keats. Well, this is a an ACC tournament championship that will never be forgotten. Historic. Knocked out of bounds. Still Carolina ball. Eight point two to go. Coaches, you better let those guys sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> they have had an unbelievable week. Ingram for three. And that is going to do it. A remarkable, astounding week for the North Carolina State Wolfpack. And let the celebration begin in Raleigh. They earned every bit of it. And each guy, each shot we show, Jay, tells a different story. Each guy contributed in a different way, and it was enough to take home a trophy. The combination of elation and exhaustion in what had to be an exhausting week but one that none of us will ever forget just extraordinary yep. he 